Okay, I'll tell you a little story about Uncle Dom. Before he was born. Before we were one in the book. So. What? No, me from Annabelle. Yeah. Well, before Annabelle was born. Yeah. Was I born? Yeah. Annabelle born. You were born first, and then Annabelle was born. But a long, long time before that, Granny and Papa and Mummy and Uncle Jonathan all lived in a house together. And it was before, Mummy. no not you, it was before Uncle Don was born. And one Sunday afternoon we all sat down to have our tea, but Granny felt a bit funny so she sat on a chair in the living room and we all had our normal tea. And I was just eating a chocolate penguin biscuit and Granny ran into the bathroom to be sick. And she said, come quick, the baby's coming. So Papa told me to ring for the midwife, who's a special lady that helps ladies make babies come out. And I rang the midwife, and she wasn't there. So I told Papa. Papa said, run up to Auntie Peggy's house and tell her to come quick and take you and Jonathan home to her house because I might have to deliver the baby. So I did what my papa, what papa said, and I went up to Auntie Peggy's house. They'd only just got home from a shopping trip. And I banged on the door as loud as I could bang. Come quick, I said, the baby's coming. And Auntie Peggy answered the door and I said, come quick, the baby's coming. So she rushed down the pavement with me and got Uncle Jonathan, who didn't know what was going on really, because he was only five. And she took us home to her house for tea. And in the meantime, Papa had to deliver Dominic, Uncle Dom, when he was born, because he came too quickly for anybody else, and there wasn't time to get Granny to hospital. And shortly after Uncle Dom was born, Outside there was an ambulance, and two cars with midwives in, and two cars with all the grandparents. And the road was full. And the first time I saw Uncle Dom, he was sitting on my grandma's knee. And he was a very large baby, and she seemed to have trouble holding on to him at both ends. And he was the biggest baby we'd ever known at the time. But actually he was smaller than you were. And the first thing Uncle Dom said when he met you was, Oh, I thought she'd be bigger. Which is funny, isn't it? And the first time I met Uncle Dom, Uncle Jonathan wasn't with me because he wanted to stay at Auntie Peggy's house and carry on watching Super Gran on the television. I don't remember the first time Uncle Jonathan met Uncle Dom. It must have been soon after. And ever since he could speak, Uncle Dom's been saying, Wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. Until he was big. And now he's bigger than Mummy. And he used to like riding on his bike. And he would go out on his bike and he would come home all sweaty and nobody really knew how he managed it. And to this day I don't eat penguin biscuits because it reminds me of my mummy being sick. Mummy! Mm. There's mummy's hand. There's mummy's hand. Uncle Dom used to go to my grand's house sometimes while Granny went to work. Ma, my Granny. Yeah, your Granny. And my, my Granny. My favourite Granny. Is she your favourite Granny? Well, you have one Gran and one Granny, don't you? And my Gran would play tricks on Uncle Dom with the biscuit tins. And she used to have three biscuit tins, and each tin had a different biscuit in it. And Uncle Dom used to like Biggie Rolls. 
So she would open the first biscuit tin and she would say, would you like one of these? And he would look in the tin and he'd say, no. So she would open the next tin and say, would you like one of these? And Dom would say, no. Because all the time he was thinking there might be filly rolls in the next tin. And she would op she'd put her hand on the next tin and say, are you going to want one of these? And before even the lid was off, Uncle Dom used to say, yes, please. Because he knew that's where the figgy rolls were, because they used to play this game every week. And she would open the tin and he would eat figgy rolls, because they were his favourite. I'm not sure whether they're his favourite anymore. Daddy, I know he likes Jaffa cakes, I'll have to ask him. And me too. You're going to ask him. Do you like Jaffa cakes? Oh, I'm not sure you not sure you've had Jaffa cakes. Sometimes you eat them sometimes. Because you like them, okay. I got to get clothes on top. I got clothes on top. And jelly on them. Look. They do have jelly on them and chocolate on the top, yeah. How do you know? And that? jelly on the top. And jelly on the top. And then when Uncle Dom grew up, Uncle Dom used to like drawing. And he was always drawing things. And when he was big, he went to college to learn how to draw things better. And then he went to university and they taught him how to draw things even better. And then he got a job working for a place when he had to draw things for a living. And people paid him to draw things. And then he met Auntie Rachel, well actually he met Auntie Rachel before then. And then they got married. And then Annabelle came along. And now they live in a little house. With me? Because I'm a little girl. Because you're a little girl too, aren't you? I can raise a little. They live in a, in a little house. With Near me. Granny and Papa, don't they? Annabelle's soon to come in to my house. That's right. And next week Annabelle's going to come to your house. And you are you alright? That's a fake cough if ever I heard one. And next week you're going to tell Annabelle how to live in Nottinghamshire for a week, aren't you? And we're going to take her to Story Hullabaloo at the library. And we'll take Happy. her... Happy what? Days is shut, darling. Today, Happy Days is, is shut down, darling. You're not going to open it. I know we were going to, weren't we? And then they closed. We might take her, or we'll go to Meadow Hall and you can take her in the Lego shop and show her all the Lego. Uh, I'll stand up on the canvas. They run away with Then I could get Lego myself! Yeah, you could have got Lego yourself then, didn't you? So we'll take Annabelle to Meadow Hall and we'll take Annabelle to the shoe shop to have her feet measured and you can have your feet measured. Annabelle's first, then my last Oh, that's a very kind thing to do, Charlotte. What is that? Yeah, is that a nice kind thing to do? What is that? Yeah. And then we'll take her to what's in the box and feed her some lunch and then they'll have to go home. What do you think? Does that sound like a full week of doing stuff? Are you going to take Annabelle in mini zone? Do you think Annabelle would like mini zone? You quite like mini zone, don't you? And soft play. I don't like swimming. I know you don't like swimming, darling. Annabelle doesn't like swimming either. I think it's because you don't like swimming that you keep telling me Annabelle doesn't like swimming. There. Yeah. Yes, I think so. Um, my favourite, my favourite, uh, my favourite, my, 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 my,
My naughty Sarah at swimming. Naughty Sarah's at swimming? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you call the teacher? Naughty Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> naughty Sarah's got a red t-shirt on. Go yes. Home. The swimming instructor does have a red t-shirt on, Charlotte. Who's your favourite Sarah? Because you've got two Sarahs, haven't you? Which yeah. one's your favourite Sarah? One that's really naughty. Yeah, have you got a favourite Sarah? Is Sarah Hippie your favourite? Your godmother? In the pictures in the book. We were looking at pictures of Sarah today, weren't we? No. Okay, you're looking at Sarah's... You were looking at pictures of Sarah's mummy, weren't you? Yeah. And you were a very tiny baby in that picture. So that's the story of Uncle Dom, plus other things. And now it's time to go to sleep. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, we'll do some Jack as well. <laughs>